you're just born now. Before you finish, you don't exist before, only now. Say something that is only about now. Don't report anything about past, because it has no life apart from memory and uh, belief. So forget about it now, if you can. Just now you're here. Say something from here that belongs only to here now. Because whatever you speak about the future, it doesn't really exist. It's all some kind of projection. Whatever is past is actually finished. It can only linger through memory and wish. So you needn't be concerned about it. If the past is alive, you're giving it life. It has no other life apart from your meaning gives it life. This is why people who have severe cases of amnesia, they're not depressed at all. <clears throat> and so we suffer through not just memory, but the attachment to memory. It keeps the thread of moments past apparently alive. And we bring it around in a way, torture ourselves with things that uh, nobody else knows of this. You're doing it all by yourself. I don't feel that we're doing it consciously and deliberately, but more out of habit. This no, no, sort just start now, just be now. Okay, okay. Pay attention only to now. Now. Okay. Just as you are. What do you to report? What can you report? Of only that belongs now. Seeing as, as I've said before, whatever is past can only keep apparently alive through your interest and memory and association. The importance you give it breathes life into it, but it's a corpse, it's finished. And about the future is only a kind of an escape from the opportunity of just being where you are now. So just be where you are now. And I'm not talking about this present moment, what's going on in the room, not this that within which even this present moment is perceived. Can there be amnesia of now? Oh. Uh, this is what is happening, what we are ordinarily called, because you don't have to be slapped on the head to get this state of or amnesia. Or on the face. Or on the face. <laughs> right, <yeah. laughs> Uh, but sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes the slap on the face is only mm, to bring you into the now. And amnesia means to forget everything else, which is a rightful and natural state of being, if you would say. And this is what I've been always pointing to, that which is not carrying the past or the future. It has no. It doesn't make any conscious effort to add to this composition of the idea of who I am to perpetuate an idea of who I am. It doesn't need it. And who I will be is completely. It's not concerned about. Even who I am is not concerned about it. That space which is in you, unsupported and effortless, like space. And yet it's not blank, it's not void, it's not a black hole, because these can be perceived in it, but it's not that. There's no descriptions of it. How do you know about it, in fact? Sometimes I say, it's like a feelingless feeling. Yesterday I used the term, a non-phenomenal recognition, meaning, it's not something that you can point to objectively, but yet somehow is the intuitive, subjective awareness somehow. Let's not say more. A non-phenomenal knowing. It means that which is effortless yeah. than you. Yeah. What is effortless in you, which does not need maintenance. Yeah, yeah. You see, the, the non-informational being, the unassociated being, 
which need not be kept up or held on to. All of these are ideas fashioned in the mind that gives us a sense we must do something to get there. And the very belief that you must do something to get that somehow eclipses the spontaneous and intuitive knowing that, but there's only that. A real seeing, a real completeness, real satisfaction in this insight. Nothing theoretical about it. And in that seeing, it is as though you are space again, like your space moving in space, not carrying, no burden. Even the example of sitting on the train and taking your luggage and let the train carry it, even this is not there. Nothing to carry, nothing to prepare for, no strategy needed. There's no one living the life. You are the life. It's very clean. It's not saying these things to itself, by the way. It's like in a split second, all of this is known. And it will keep on somehow deepening at some level. Like a kind of maturing is taking place spontaneously, effortlessly, against a background of unchanging awareness. They're like together and they're one. These are not things that can only make sense or will make sense to a deeply rational mind only. Something else must be more bigger, open. Because uh, rational thinking is not enough to contain you. You're just born now. Before it finish, you don't exist before, only now. <laughs>